Hello everyone and welcome back to the Microsoft security community. Boyan Magusic here, program manager on the customer experience engineering team for Azure Security Center. Delighted to be joining you today on this video to showcase the Enable MFA security control in Security Center. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm in the Azure portal and I've gone ahead and navigated to Azure Security Center. What I'm going to do is select recommendations on the left hand side. Here I can see a list of all the security controls that are applicable for my environment. With cloud adoption, identity is becoming the new parameter, the control plane for your entire infrastructure. And Security Center places a high value on MFA, which is why the Enable MFA security control is the security control that contributes the most to your secure score with a max score increase of 10 points. So I'll go ahead and select the enable MFA control. For this environment, I see a total of two recommendations listed. Depending on your environment, you might see more than two recommendations listed here. In example, if you're using cloud connectors to connect to an AWS and or GCP account, but for this environment, in order to get my full 10 points increase or 18% increase in my secure score, I need to complete all of these recommendations. The way we could look at these recommendations is a way of ensuring an organization is meeting the recommended practices for users of their subscriptions, namely that MFA should be enabled on accounts with either owner right permissions on your subscription. And right now I only have one recommendation completed. So to get my full 10 points or 18 point increase in secure score, I need to remediate the other recommendation. So I'll go ahead and select it. The page that opens provides me with more information such as which subscription listed under unhealthy resources has accounts with owner permissions that don't have MFA enabled yet. You might be asking yourself, well, how, I can, how can I see which accounts don't have MFA enabled? You can see this directly in the portal by selecting the subscription ID, which in my case is obfuscated here, or by using Azure Resource Graph. Once you successfully identified which accounts don't have MFA enabled yet, in remediation steps, I can also find detailed guidance on how to remediate this recommendation. Fundamentally, there are three ways to enable MFA and be compliant with the two recommendations we saw in Security Center. So let me touch briefly on each one. The first one is enabling security defaults that we can see here. The second option or second way to enable MFA is using per user assignment. And the third is using a conditional access policy. Once I've completed one of these three ways to enable MFA, the security posture of my organization will improve and so will my secure score. And that concludes our video on the enable MFA security control in Security Center. I hope you got real value out of the video. And as always, feel free to comment and give us your thoughts on the ASC Tech Community blogs. Until next time, bye.